Well, the wild success of Scandal is bringing soap operas filled with power and intrigue back to prime time. This week, a new entry debuts on the Fox network. Instead of Washington, the backdrop, it's Cleveland. But there's still plenty of sizzle because Empire is all about the music business. And it stars a big name from the movies, Oscar nominee Terrence Howard. I just want you to know, everything I did was for you and your brothers. Do you want to be a prince or do you want to be the king? I want to be the king. Then claim your throne. My two sons, both are releasing new albums. I need you to sing like you're going to die tomorrow. Like this well, is Jeremy life. Hassel is our pop culture commentator at Arise. Uh, Terrence Howard isn't the only big name behind the show. You, of course, you've got now Timbaland, who's providing all the music. Come on, this, is, this show is called Empire, but behind it are some teams that make up a true empire. We have, behind the lens, you have Lee Daniels mm -hmm. from The Butler and um, Precious, and he's also working with Danny Strong, who wrote The Butler. So mm -hmm. those two behind directing this uh, pretty cool different show about a hip-hop drama and a dynasty put together. And then the cast... But besides Taraji P. Henson and Terrence Howard, exactly. you also have Gabrae Sidibe from Precious, who is amazing. You have different guest stars each week. And ladies, Malik Yoba is on the show. Oh, my goodness, Malik. Former golf partner. What a guy. <laughs> you know, I got to tell you, though, uh, I, I saw some of the, the promos for Empire. Obviously, this is very exciting here. And, you know, you've got hip-hop or rap. Uh, you've got sex, of course. All these things are selling. Uh, you have an interracial cast in here. And I guess this kind of reflects what, the, I guess, the mil millennials are, are looking for or looking at in, in, in watching TV these days. Absolutely. This is for not only millennials, this is for everyone who loves drama, drama, <laughs> drama. And, you know, with this kind of show, when people see hip-hop shows, they think is the same thing again. Like, mm -hmm. I was talking backstage with uh, Laura Napier, the awesome makeup artist, and mm -hmm. she goes, oh, another hip-hop show, you know, what's it going to be? Are we going to have new talent? And the answer is yes. Now, you know Taraji P. Henson and Terrence Howard, but a lot of the show focuses around Terrence Howard, who is actually the, the kingpin, who is a, a drug dealer turned rapper who created a large empire. Mm -hmm. And he has three sons. And Terrence Howard actually gets ALS on the show and has to decide which son should take over the empire. And these three sons, look out for these guys. They're okay, really well, good. don't tell us anymore. Don't okay, give me okay, any more okay. of this plot here. here. Here's the thing, though. Uh, obviously, it's going to be very exciting, you know, action-packed and all that kind of stuff here. I, I think what some people may be concerned about with a show like this, it still focuses on perhaps more of the negative or seedy aspects of black life, the music culture. Uh, and, you know, it, it's not obviously like a Cosby-type experience, uh, far from it. But do you think that, you know, that does anything to promote the black experience in this country outside of what people already seem to believe is, is systemic within uh, not just its music, in, uh, uh, music industry, but with black culture as a whole? I think it's going to show in entertainment what can happen to a family mm -hmm. when money and power comes in. And as with black culture, you're going to see all sides. Because as the show trailer, the pilot comes on, you're going to see that actually Kingpin is taking his actual company to get an IPO, to publicly traded, and to show how that happened and so much more. So basically, and I'm going to kind of tie this or parallel this with, okay. with another great series that no longer exists. It was on HBO, Boardwalk Empire. Okay. And now you have the empire here. So basically, people can look past race and basically get into the drama, into the characters, that whole kind of thing, into the mood, as opposed to kind of saying, well, this is a, a black thing. This is black music or whatever. Is that Absolutely. What this show is about a family and what happens when a dynasty is falling apart, when X factors get thrown in, and when money gets into any mix, how it changes people and their perspective. Are they going to stay on target where they're going? Are they going to shift to the left or right? And this show is really about the drama, like Dallas and Dynasty, the soap mm -hmm. operas. Mm -hmm. This is the hip-hop version of that, with a mix of The Godfather, I'd say. Well, how, okay. How, how long do you think this can play out, though? I mean, this obviously is going to have a beginning and end, just like anything, like The Sopranos, mm -hmm. whatever, Dynasty and all those shows. Correct. But how long can you play this drama out before it fizzles out? Well, when you have someone like Timberland doing music each week, Lee Daniels, uh, Danny Strong, an amazing writer, and you have the superstars of Terrence Howard and Taraji P. Henson, and so many support, they can go in so many directions. And if you love drama, we're going to keep watching. And even if you don't love rap, you'll love Timberland's music. Come on, the beats? Come on, <laughs> if it came on right now, you and I would... We, we do a little swaying. <laughs> it huh? could happen. It could happen. <laughs> All right. Hey, look, I, I got to tell you something. I'll be tuning in. 
and then we're going to have you come back to re-critique this thing after, we, after it starts off. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Jeremy Hassel, thank you so much for joining us. Always, Julian. Okay, and Happy New Year to you, sir. You too, man. All right. I'm Julian Phillips. Thank you for joining us for a Rise Review. But before we go, we are sad to report the death of Stuart Scott. The ESPN sportscaster passed away today after a long battle with cancer at the age of 49. And of course, our hearts go out to ESPN and of course to his family as well. Well, you can keep in touch with the Rise News on Facebook. All our programming is streaming 24-7, of course, 2015. See you next week.